Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what you need to do when narcissists betray you. If that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching sesh with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Do this when narcissists betray you. You are loyal to the narcissist under all circumstances, no matter how difficult. You were always supported and stayed with them even if there were no problems or difficulties. You stayed with them through the good and bad times. You listened th sympathetically to their problems. You were their emotional support and encouragement. You helped them out of bad situations or when they were in trouble. But when the situation is reversed and the shoe is on the other foot, you don't get the same response from them. They're not there for you. And you might just dismiss it or ignore it and assume that things will get better for you. But by doing that, it's actually very foolish because you do have an option to not continue to support and be loyal to them. And yet, you choose not to, which is naive because you're not dealing with the situation efficiently. And unfortunately, there are a lot of victims who do understand what they're dealing with, and yet they continue to remain loyal to people who do not reciprocate back to them. Because a lot of people watch these videos just to make themselves feel better after what's happened to them without accepting that the change must come from them. Because you're not going to change the person who has the problem. You have to change your patterns of behavior, the things that you're interested in, and the people who you choose to associate with, which can be uncomfortable at first, because most people don't like change. They don't want to change the things that they were doing so they continue with their old patterns of behavior, which continue to produce the same results, where they're constantly experiencing the same situations and the same things happen again and again. But there are some people where no matter what you do and no matter how much you change yourself, they will always find some reason or excuse to betray you, which is why in those situations, you reward them with your absence. Because while you can try to understand their different perspective, and you can take responsibility for your role in the conflict, that's not going to work with these types of people, because they're not thinking in a similar fashion. They don't have the same amount of knowledge or the same kind of understanding as you do. And even if they did, that would only work with minor problems that could be quickly corrected. But when you're dealing with a situation that is not only out of that understanding, but out of their ability or means of being able to correct it, seeing you lead as an example is only going to irritate them because they're not going to be able to meet you there or meet you halfway. And they may not even be capable of doing that, which is why they're susceptible and inclined to take advantage of people. And you won't be able to get them to see it another way because it's all they've ever known. So if you're taking responsibility and you're trying to see their perspective, they're just going to see it as an invitation to keep doing what they're doing. And they may even think that you're comfortable with them doing that because they look at it like you wouldn't stay with them if you weren't okay with it. 
And that's partially true. Because if you want respect from people, you must first show them respect. But if you've already shown them respect and you don't get it back, then you're around the wrong people. Which means that you need to remove yourself from these situations because by doing that, it sends a message. But while you're around, it's very easy for them to mistake your kindness for weakness because you're still there. So they've got you to depend on if they need you. And your presence justifies what they're doing to you. They're able to blame you and label you as weak or foolish. But they can't do that when you're not around. And instead, they're left to their own devices. They're left to question why you're no longer there. They're left to look at themselves. And that is something these types of people don't like to do. Because the reality is that they don't usually deal with people who are honest and trustworthy and people who are constantly improving. You were probably the kindest, most genuine person they dealt with and the opposite of what they're used to dealing with. So they will be around you, but with the expectation of benefits and conveniences, while with the other people they've been dealing with, they would have expected an equivalent in return. Because unknowingly to you, they're typically around other people who are just as unpleasant and kind and cruel as they are. People who are just as harsh on them as they are to you. And it's a language they understand because they've already been through it. But when they're around someone who's kind, generous and giving, it's very easy and pleasant compared to what they're used to because you're not expecting anything in return. You're forgiving and tolerant. So they're getting a lot of enjoyment from using, criticizing and making fun of you because they can't get away with that with other people. But with you, all they have to do is pretend to agree or accept what you want. They just have to pretend to cooperate. So it makes them think that you're foolish and naive to where you're easily influenced and suggestible and you cannot refuse them because you're unable to judge their true lack of purpose and value while the other people they're dealing with may already know the truth. So those other people may be more ruthless, aggressive and merciless because they understand that they need to operate differently around the narcissist, which means that the narcissist is not going to play around with those types of people because those other people may retaliate and they may believe that if someone harms or wrongs them, then they should respond by harming or wronging them in the same way. Which is why they will stay in line with those types of people. Because they know that if they don't, there's going to be consequences. So they're not going to try to screw them over. But you're kind, merciful and tolerant. So they will take their chances with you. And they will give you all the excuses in the world to why they can't do something or behave appropriately because you're a different type of person to what they're used to dealing with. So they don't, they don't feel the need to be respectful to you or to be communicated or perceived as honest, which is why you do need to keep track of what you're giving compared to what you're getting back so that things progress smoothly and steadily without any sudden changes. Because even for normal people, it's human nature to take things for granted, especially the good and the best of us that we freely and unconditionally give out. Which is why we must maintain order in how the interaction plays out. And if you're not receiving loyalty, support or obedience, then you reward it with distance. You remove yourself from it and you never look back. Instead of continuing to entertain things that are removing your value and putting you in bad situations because they're never going to change. They're never going to see you as any more valuable regardless of what you do.
because they've already made their mind up based on what you've tolerated from them. So they've already decided what your worth is because they see it as though if you were worth anything, you would have left them. They know who they can deceive and who they can't because they're opportunists. They will take advantage of any situation at the expense of ethics or morals because they don't care about your limits or boundaries. And they've learned to become expert manipulators because normally things wouldn't go their way. Which is why they possess a cold and calculating disposition. And they will often steal and violate your trust and use power and influence in self-serving ways because they lack integrity. They have a corrupt character, which means that they will always be this way. Their life is devoted to the satisfaction of their own self-interest, while avoiding show showing the social world that their mind is absorbed in actualizing their selfish goal. Not because they care about other people, but because they don't want to be exposed. They lack affective empathy, but they are high in cognitive empathy, which means that they know what type of people they can do this to. Well, as for you or I, as empaths, we are low in cognitive empathy. So we may have difficulty identifying these predators, but because we are high in affective empathy, we may often overlook the red flags. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paywell.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.